everybody. It's Tony from Car Stars, and here we are back on the uh, LS1, getting it all together. Charles is uh, hard at work, and uh, we're just measuring the, the ring gaps and assembling pistons. So, uh, putting in the uh, correct gaps, we've determined that's this from just the uh, manufacturer's page. You have to well, take for the, what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, for us. It's different for you. Take the bore times whatever their uh, factor was. In our case, it was 0.0055 or something like that. And then we came up with this number to create the gap. Top piston ring is this gap. Second piston ring is that gap. And the oil ring had this minimum um, for their little rings. So the little oil rings, not, I mean, you can put them in by hand, but they're, they're not exactly like super easy. I would say. I mean, they go in easy, but you got to make sure they're lined up properly. Not getting any binding or weird stuff going on in there. But anyway, yeah, so this is what we're doing. We're, uh, you've got our squaring tool. Squaring tool. My camera doesn't want to focus. Squaring tool. Put the ring in the cylinder. Use the squaring tool to push it down. Measure the end, uh, measure the gap at the end of the ring with your feeler gauge. You feel the gauge. You feel it. And then you uh, and you grind it. We got this little grinder, super cheap off eBay. It was like, I can't remember how much this was, but it wasn't super expensive. Just got it cr clamped here. Don't have to put a lot of force on it. Take your time. Take your time, because if you over grind. You can't put more metal back on can't that. Can't put it back. So anyway, yeah, this is what we're doing. It's kind of a pain, because you got to do uh, 16 uh, compression rings. And then, of course, you're putting in your oil rings and making sure it's all right so it's it's a little bit of a time consuming process and then you got to make sure that you put the right rings on the right cylinder that you measured so this is piston number one going into piston hole number one so we're going to do all the odds and then we're going to come back and do all the evens after we rotate the motor over anyway so just quick update we'll uh we'll get back with you when we're starting to put uh, pistons actually in the block and uh checking the uh clearances on the uh the, the uh what am I trying to say? The bearings? Rod, uh, rod bearings. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. So, this so is what we're working on. Catch you all later. Oh, yeah. Halfway there. Halfway there. All right, all right, all right. So, all four pistons. The second set of pistons went in way faster than the first four because uh, Charles and I kind of like split up our um, duties. So I was installing rings while he was gapping them. And uh, then so there'd be always a piston ready to go to go in as soon as he was done doing one thing. And so, yeah, so we're super stoked. I'm super stoked. This thing's coming together. And uh, looking forward to the next installment when we start putting in the uh, valve train. And I guess what's next, Cam? Uh... Yeah, I mean, next would be cam, lifters, retaining tray, the timing set, uh, oil pump. Trays, that oil pump goes on. Right, right. So I got to make sure yeah. that we have all the parts we need to get the rest. I think we have all the parts pretty much, but uh, anyway, yeah, just, just stoked to be at this point. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Later.